Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to the happiest place on earth. It's certainly. Yeah, we're at Disneyland Paris to go and check out the resort because there are two parks here. There's Disneyland Paris and of course there's Walt Disney Studios. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a walk around the park if you've never been to Disneyland Paris before and we're going to find out whether you should come to Disneyland Paris. Let's go. walking into my favorite part of uh, Disneyland Paris and in actual fact in any Disneyland or Disney World the studio part so there's only one way in and that's through these doors and the first ride we're gonna go on is the Tower of Terror as we head into the Twilight Zone is it not called Hollywood Tower I think it's wherever you want to it's wherever you want to call it And the attention to detail with the Hollywood skyline that actually goes dark twilight like it is now and then it goes into daytime pretty cool isn't it these service pumps so the other thing that is here that wasn't here last time I was here is the whole Avengers and Marvel rides popular spot for people to get a photo of Mr Walt Disney I'm sure I remember down there they used to have a, like a backdrop like a, a Hollywood backdrop with blue sky and the Hollywood sign. I could be wrong, because you can just see them building a new part of the, the studios here in Paris. The rain's starting to come down. Everyone's crowding around the information boards. And these are pretty important. You can get this on the app as well, but they tell you how long the wait times are. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is a 60 minute wait. I think it's the, is it the longest wait time? Although Ratatouille is 65 minutes. What's good, if it's raining, we can go in here and be dry and be scared at the same time. A lot of people miss the sign when they come on this ride. It's a pretty cool sign. It says the Hollywood Tower Hotel and then it all disappears and the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror appears. But the theming for this ride is absolutely amazing. They pulled down the one in California to make room for Avengers but the one in Paris is still here. I love how the ride attendants look like hotel porters. And the story of this ride is pretty good. I'm just looking. You said the wait time was an hour. I'm looking there and it says the hours, it's two hours. Has that gone up? You actually feel like the atmosphere around you. Like you just see like all the old furniture with cobwebs yeah. on and stuff like that. I think it will be to the back of the room and I will just go full seat. It's like some of the hotels that I've stayed in recently, Gabby. Yeah, it's like one we're in now. <laughs> I'm scared. So this is what's great about this part of the ride. You walk into a library, and this is how the ride starts. Look at the cobwebs on the light. I've seen that in many hotels I've been to recently. Supervise you. Literally, right by the elevator doors. Somebody there. <laughs> 
And then it wouldn't be complete without going in the gift shop. What do you think of it? I think it's a really good ride. I'm surprised it's in Disney actually, because it's quite freaky. So now walking into the Avengers campus. I don't think Gabby's a big fan of the Avengers, are you? I don't think I've even seen one episode. They're movies, darling, not episodes. So yeah, let's have a look what's on here. Now the wait time for some of these rides are around about 75 minutes. I love when you look at the floor, there's all these little bits of blue and green lights so last time we were here this was like a Hollywood stunt show so this is all brand new there's a uh, look at that where you can eat Wow! <laughs> even the toilets look pretty cool themed so the design of this basically is like if you were training to be an Avenger he's the Iron Man he's over there yeah at least you know what Iron Man looks like now that is a nice car as you can see, there's a lot of people here to see Iron Man. I think he's there for a couple of hours. You get your photo taken. And uh, it tells you on the app how long the wait is. And I believe the wait time is about an hour to get your photo taken with Iron Man and that car. So Gabby, a quick test. How many Avengers are there? I actually don't know the answer. I'm guessing five. Holly? It's quite a few. So is yeah. there five? There's more than five, that's all I know really. That's French. Funny that we're in Paris. <laughs> so Black Panther is up there on the roof. A lot of these people are kind of missing him. But Iron Man's going to pull out. I didn't realise this was an actual drivable car. Okay, this is the kind of car I want. Look at those wheels with the lights on it. That is amazing. I wonder if he's cold in that. Forgot his Iron Man, he must be heated. Say bye Iron Man. Are you gutted that Iron Man's gone? Oh, I'm devastated. I bet the poor bloke who's appearing as Iron Man is not uh, disappointed he's gone. So let's go and take my little boy on a ride. It's certainly right, we're in Disneyland. Look at this American telephone box. Look at that. How cool is that? You can't take that off, though. <laughs> wow, they've actually glued that down because people obviously try to see if there's any money in there. So we'll leave the studio tour behind and go towards Playland. Is Buzz like you? Love the big Christmas lights. So obviously this is for younger children. Even for this ride, it's 75 minute wait. Yikes. Long wait times today. Mind you, I say for little kids, but that looks a bit extreme for some younger kids. RC racer. So it's gonna sound weird to say, but if you wanna feel a bit more French in Disneyland Paris than Ratatouille land or world. It's quite small, is worth coming to. Now the ride over there, again, wait time's really long. And I thought today would be fairly quiet. I was here yesterday on a Sunday and I thought it was busy then. <laughs> Today's even busier. The theming though, the French Mediterranean buildings, the attention to detail on the, on the windows with the flowers and the chimneys brilliant so yes the wait time with families is 50 minutes but if you go as a single rider it's just five minutes one 
Amazing. Thank you. So I thought I'd go and check this out quickly on my own. I know I'm a big kid really, aren't I? Pick up some 3D glasses, which is obviously not going to work for the camera. And we're off. Obviously for the purpose of this ride, you won't be wearing those 3D glasses. I guess if you cross your eyes, you can kind of see it. Des invités pour le dîner. Yes, but what do you put here? Huh? For the repas idéal. Pour pour that? No. A simple omelet? Too simple. Voilà. Mais oui, that's it. Well, it actually feels like you're underneath a, a table. What are you doing? Too many gossip. Oh, it's like in the oven. Whoa. senses because the car's moving independently and all the moving images are all moving differently as well. Oh wow, smells like cheese in here. <laughs> smells like what's it actually? That was actually a really good ride, love the theme and Holly went on it as well. Did you like it Holly? Yeah, it was In fact, the restaurant right here um, if you're a big fan of Ratatouille, it's definitely worth going in because the theming is insane. We're in Toonland now and uh, there is a coaster that's in here. It's a bit like the pinball coaster if you've seen it in Alton Towers. <laughs> Crush's coaster. <laughs> it does look good. How long is the wait time to go on here? 80 minutes. How much? 80 minutes. And that's for a, that's that's actually for a single rider or it's a hundred minutes if you wanna go on with me. What do you wanna do? 80 minutes for Give it a miss. So when you come to Disneyland Paris or any Disney park, you've just gotta be prepared for the long waits. Unless you wanna pay an extra twelve pound to fifteen pound per person per ride to go on the fast track. So I personally give yourselves either four days here or bring plenty of money. Look at the magic carpet ride. Isn't that brilliant? They're still a little bit too fast for my little boy. Okay, so I thought Gabby would like this. Don't make me do it, you're doing it. This is this is this is about screamers, so you've got to scream to try and get those power cells up. If you've seen Monsters Inc. Look, there's one of these doors. Ready? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> It's not moving, it's already fully charged. Did you do that on purpose? Hang on, I'll do, I'll do this one. Ah! Ah! There you go, it worked. I can't believe that you literally did that on purpose <laughs> and then run away. away. Everyone was laughing oh, at Oh, you me. don't understand, I had to. If you'd have been here, you'd have had to run too. I've been in some serious embarrassing moments, but that was the worst ever. So we just thought we'd stop and get a coffee. We're just checking the app now of the ride times and they're still pretty long. It's now half past two. We got into the park at about 10 o'clock. How many rides have we been on? Well, I've been on two. What's really funny is Gabby actually said to me, don't come to Disneyland to go on a ride. Come to be in the atmosphere, and if you get to go on a couple of rides, it's a bonus. It's true though, <laughs> isn't it? Honestly, don't come to Disneyland expecting rides all day long, because it isn't going to happen. Which, which would then put you off really coming here, wouldn't it? But it is about being in the atmosphere. It is. And getting a coffee. So just starting outside the original Disney hotel, I did want to stay in here, but unfortunately, it's been renovated at the moment. But this is probably one of the best places to stay at Disneyland Paris. So we're about to walk in 
to the happiest place on earth. Still celebrating 30 years when in fact that was actually last year. But they're capitalising on that, aren't they? They are. It might be a wet, cold day, but Gabby's full of fun. I'm bundled up, I'm all right. Everybody else is just not dressed for the occasion. So we were here yesterday. Now, normally you'd be able to see in this little square and down Main Street, but they're taking the Christmas decorations down at the minute. You can get on the train over there. So even when the weather's rubbish, it's still fun to be at Disneyland, isn't it? It is, definitely. So here we are on the famous Main Street of Disneyland Paris. You still see the Christmas decorations up there taken down. And you see all of these tracks along the road. This is all part of the show that comes, I think it's once or twice a day. And it literally goes all the way up here into the town square as well. This is also the best place to see the fireworks that are set behind the castle and indeed the show. But I think it's quite overwhelming when you walk down Main Street because you don't know where to look next, do you? I know. But there's no rides down Main Street. No, there isn't. It's, it's all shops. Well, it's not. Uh, you would thought it's, uh, there are some places to eat, but it's um, mainly, mainly like shops. shops. I mean, look at this. Look at that. The attention to detail with the with the gasoline. I mean, it is so cute. The whole place looks like a movie set. Just walking down here, if you look through the windows, you see some little Easter eggs. Like, look at this all set up for um, an afternoon tea. Doesn't that look cute? What is this? Disney's... But look, even as you come round here, there's like hidden buildings. How many people actually come round here, look? Oh, Gabby's exploring. I want to go with the hairdressers. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it is a hairdresser's. Is it a real hairdresser's? Are they yeah, actually having a haircut? A oh, it's a clothes shop. Right, OK. Laundry up there, look. Attention to detail. They've even put some Ponsetta flowers up there for Christmas. So we're going to make our way up to the famous castle. And you can actually walk inside the castle, which is something you've been wanting to do. Yeah, I have done it before, but I can't remember anything about it whatsoever. So these are invaluable information boards. Not only did they tell you about the times and openings of the park, but they also tell you about the wait time on all the rides. The biggest wait today is actually not on a ride, it's to meet Mickey Mouse, or maybe the Princess Pavilion, and that's a 70 minute wait. I tell you what, when you actually look at the castle from the distance, it looks bigger than when you get to it close up because it looks fairly small when you get close to it. And as you can see, you can walk just on that first level, just around there. You see the stained glass windows. Let's go and have a quick look. This is what we were saying, weren't we, Gabby? That a lot of children nowadays won't know a lot of these classic Disney. Yeah, the traditional ones, like the ones that we know from being a kid. Like youngsters today, he's, he's I not going to know, and he probably won't even be bothered. Like we saw a mascot, Goofy. Like who knows Goofy anymore? That's true. I know that's a fake fire, but it actually feels warm up here, doesn't it? Attention to detail. Look at the little, tiny little lights on the trees. Stained glass windows with a difference with some of the past Disney characters. You might remember from Cinderella. You can even walk around the castle as well. You can see down there, there's a Scalibur's sword. They're trying to pull it out of the stone. But you get a good view of the park from up here. What is it, Rapunzel or is it Cinderella? No, Rapunzel throwing a hair out, asking for someone to climb up it. Even though it would never happen, people are trying to pull out Excalibur's sword. Really, so these two guys are going to try it. I think the castle looks better from this angle. This must be the biggest carousel I think I've ever seen. And the grandest one as well. So you've got Discovery Land, which is literally just over there. In front of us is Fantasyland. You've got Frontierland, Adventureland. 
also when I first came to Disneyland it was always about going to Discoveryland and going on Space Mountain. Now obviously some rides I will be able to film on and other rides I won't so it's going to be a little bit selected on what rides I can actually go on with you. It will probably be only a few to be fair just because the wait times on the rides today are very long. Even on a wet day people will still go on the cars. These do remind me of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach cars. So one thing I really wanted to go on and it's closed. Gutted. It's been completely reimagined though since I was a kid and I bet now that is absolutely brilliant. There's ducks. I don't ever remember seeing all this here the last time I was in Disneyland Paris. It's a lot different now. Just seeing it from this side, how quiet it is. So if you're a big Star Wars fan, Star Traders Boutique is definitely a place for you. Let's go and have a quick look. I'm not a Star Wars fan myself, but just interested to see what it's like in here. Star Wars merchandise everywhere. So you can make your own lightsaber here. You pick up all your bits, including the old lightsaber things. <laughs> you make your own. It's pretty good. Wow, look at that. 399 euros for that. Now, I like a cup of tea. Look at this, is this, I thought this was a teapot, but it's a, it's a cup. You put the head on it, keeps the tea warm. Or, of course, a Darth Vader cup. Brilliant. So it's open every day of the year. It is busy every day of the year, but the best time to come in January is on a Tuesday to a Thursday. That's when you're gonna get the lesser queues. But I'm here during that period and you still could be waiting up to an hour to get on with the rides. But I guess that's better than some peak times when you could get up to two hours waiting. If you're a big fan of mazes, the Curious Labyrinth will keep you guessing for a while. It's quite funny, you can just see the tops of people's heads looking all confused. I can't believe it, we found a ride that is just five minutes wait time. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go, bumpies! What is it? A boat ride. Is he excited? <laughs> I don't Look, know. People will think he's got the biggest hands or he's a weird looking child. By the way, this is because his gloves keep coming off. Yeah. <laughs> he's lost one of his. This is what we like, walking around and no queues. I'm sure we came on this, looked at this yesterday and it was really busy. Now that little train roller coaster looks pretty good fun. Bonjour. Oh, <laughs> Gabby, this makes you feel funny. Yeah, I think he's enjoying it. What's his face like? His first ride or his second ride of his life. You enjoying it, Thumps? So everything is in miniature. <laughs> look, Pirates of the Caribbean over there, look. Even as an adult, you just want to get out and play with it. Look at all the snow. To be honest, the models are actually quite good. Look at those houses over there. Look at this mini waterfall and the tiny little Escalibur sword in there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see inside there, but people have been throwing little pennies. I'm just trying to figure out, Gabby, what that little character is. Who's that? What is this? Wizard of Oz House. So let's go on Pirates of the Caribbean. Gabby, I've just noticed that you're coordinated today. Was that planned or was that by mistake? I'm always coordinated. Have oh. you never noticed that in the whole 10 years we've been married? So again, this is a short wait time, 10 minutes, which is brilliant. I guess we're wondering whether we're gonna get wet on this ride. It is, look at the theming, it's brilliant. Wow, five minute ride. Oh, mind you. All, the, all in boats. I don't know whether that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing for this camera. We don't know what to expect from this ride. There are people eating over there. <laughs> I 
Wow, that's a restaurant. Now, I've never gone for a restaurant before on a ride. There used to be one like this in Blackpool, I remember. Wow, we should eat in there. That looks nice. Wow, it does feel like you're in the middle of the Caribbean. Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. Don't know how well the camera picks that up, but in front of us is the moonlight and the sky and the clouds going over the moon. Look I really that. like these rides, they're my kind of ride. That really does feel like you're outside. The reflection on the water as well, that's amazing. Wow, this place is massive, look. There's a massive boat. Now these are so good, I don't know whether they're actors or... Look at that, the way is that guy's moving. He looks like a real person. There's loads of them in here, look. <laughs> it's so funny when you we've been to some theme parks where when the uh, animatronics move they don't look this good and that guy forks look at him up there look oh <laughs> look he's chasing that woman so another drop That actually does look like Johnny Depp. But he's talking in French. So let's walk on Adventure Isle. Now what's pretty cool about walking around here is that you can go all through these caves. You can walk under that waterfall. All this is no queuing, just to walk around. Shame this isn't open, but the attention to detail on Captain Jack Sparrow's, well, I don't know if it's his boat, but it's amazing, isn't it? So in Adventureland at the moment, you can easily get lost. I think I'm there just near Skull Rock. And there's actually quite a lot to explore. Wow, look at that old shipwreck. And that suspension bridge. It's like a maze through what looks like an artificial tree. But unfortunately, at the moment, because Gabby and Holly are on a ride, me and Thumps, I don't think we can go on there. So it's not good for people like myself or disabled access. So leaving Pirates of the Caribbean behind. I wonder if I rub it, all my dreams will come true. Win the lottery, win the lottery. Oh no, we've missed Jafar. Hey, look at that. I just rubbed that and didn't notice that there was something coming out of that. Did that happen because I did that? Oh, don't know. It does feel like you're on a movie set. Look at that. I feel like I'm in Morocco. So that's what's great about Disneyland, even if you've never been to any of these far fun places. It feels like you actually have. So let's have a walk through Frontierland. I've actually never been in here myself. I've only ever come to Disneyland Paris for only ever one day. So I've never really got around everywhere in time. So never walked in here before. Obviously country and Western themed. Can I see a big paddle steamer? Just there, go in. Wow, a huge paddle steamer just in the distance there, just going around the corner. So if you are staying at Disneyland for a couple of nights, you can come around the park in the evening and choose to eat in one of these many restaurants. Got to show you inside this restaurant. Just look inside this restaurant. Amazing. Love the theming. Now, even though this is country and western themed, it doesn't really add up that spooky house just there. It looks like something from the Adams family. So I'm too scared to go on this ride on my own. Not quite sure what to expect. I'm assuming it's kind of like a ghost train. Gabby's here helping me out. Don't worry, I'll be here to protect you. 
It seems like the Adams family. Spooky house. Is this, do we go through the front doors? Oh yeah, we do. So we're going in from one room to another room. Maybe this is all we do, just go in one room to another room. Oh, we're going down. Or are we going down? Does it feel like we're going down or are we going down? Messing. Okay, this is weird. Are we still going down? Wow, you're actually like walking through a proper house. It is like a ghost train, but I love the fact that you actually walk through this haunted house first. Gabby, look at the cobwebs. So at the minute, I think it's fair to say this must be the best themed ghost house ghost train I've ever been on. Quick Gabby, step on. Is that someone real? Wow, look at I that. I just keep expecting that to turn around. That looks 3D. <laughs> My God, look at those faces. That is freaky, they're all singing. Ah, oh, you can't see that. Oh, did you see that? What's this ride called? I don't know, but it's some sort of train in Cars Land. It's called Cars Road Trip. Cars Road Trip. Let's go up here. Thumpies, are you ready? He's ready to go. Are you ready to go, Casper? Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Sally. Oh, that is quite wet. Wow. The Route 66. Hey Sally, why were all those crazy things built along Route 66? The canyon has an aftershock every few minutes? We? Oui, that's awesome! <laughs> ah, nous y voilà! L'intérieur du train. Merci. Alright everyone, we're making a short scheduled stop here in the canyon. Please remain seated and keep your hands and arms inside the tram. Thanks. What's going to happen, Thumps? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Oh, that is so nice and warm. Just got soaked. Oh, that's my feet wet. Oh, what a rush! Wave, wave, up. wave. <laughs> oh, who's the queen of the mountain? That's steaming. They've made their own Eiffel Tower out of bits of tyres and stuff like that. Fuel tower, high fuel tower. <laughs> yeah, that was it. What do you think, Casper? Was it good? That was quite good. So that was Disneyland Paris. Did you have a good time? I did. I did have a good time, but there are pros and cons to every situation. Let's first talk about the cons. It is very expensive here, and I know that I've mentioned that a lot in this video, but it's the food aspect, actually, which is the most expensive part of coming to Disneyland. You've got to be prepared either to eat in a buffet restaurant, which is all the same, 45 euros, or probably pay around about 60 to 70 euros for a meal for three people. If it isn't for the food factor, if you are prepared to pay it, you have to queue like mad anyway, even yeah. if you do want to pay it. And bearing in mind, we are here in what's so-called the quieter season. So we can only imagine what it would be like 
during peak summer or when the school holidays are here. Now the queue for the rides, they weren't overly that bad. The hard thing about that is if you are waiting with little ones, bear in mind you may have to carry them for a long period of time waiting to go on the rides, which could yeah. be a bit exhausting. Definitely. We hope you like the video. If you want to see more theme parks, don't forget to click the video just here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.